Alrighty, today I want to take on another one of the big guns, the fear of death. Mm, big one for, well, pretty much everybody. Uh, what is it, what can we do with it, and how can we fix it ideally and become, essentially, immortal? So, three things that are the cause of the premature or early death is nervous system disconnections, built up toxicity, and nutritional deficiencies. So, the tricky thing is, these three things are subconscious They're in the body. So the people, are, the brain is not connected to it, so nobody knows about these things. Yeah. And the beautiful thing about Ayurveda and the body types and then the five element theory is it shows us these things. And when I studied these things in Kerala in India, the home of Ayurveda, there were a number of things that my body type does that would cause extra vata, which is nervous system disconnections and causing more damage to the body. So when I found out what these were, I sit there go, and there was like 10 lists of excess vata, and I was doing eight of them. This is not a pretty situation, so I made a few changes. And I've become much more holistic, much more well-rounded, much more uh, in my body, and absolutely feeling very powerful as a result. So, nervous system disconnections. Each body type has the same imbalances. But most of the time, because it's uh, subconscious, the person and their ego or the environmental gut in uh, organism, and the things that are below that, which we call the lower self, some people call it the different demons, whatever, Tokolosh in Africa. These things are subconsciously controlling our brain via the vagus nerve as above, so below. So we're completely unaware of what's actually going on. And the way I see it, 80% of people are imbalancing themselves 80% of the time. And especially in the Western world, we are absolutely, completely nutritionally deficient. Hugely. Because I'm sure if you've been improving yourself and adjusting your nutrition and you feel the benefits and then the expansion and the bodily power and the more connection to the body, the mind and the soul and the uh, environment around you, you'll know. You just said, you know, you're going to feel for these things. So, the nutritional imbalances that come from that, say, tension in the spine, so for my pizza body type, we've got, we do this a lot, you hear the crack there. T2 and T3, there's tension there because we run and we do certain things to make it that much worse. But that nervous system connections go to the spleen, both sides, so we become stuck in duality and we become very competitive because we subconsciously need to improve these things and that completely changes our perspective and controls our perspective. In the subconscious we don't know about these things. So as a result, the nutritional deficiencies are like especially iron levels in the spleen and then the liver and gallbladder become very, very overtly toxic. And we are, as a result, using our body, we, we feel these toxins, but we just don't, un we don't have a, a greater understanding which we could improve. And what is the other one? Nervous, uh, and built up toxicity. So if we're disconnected from our, our liver and gallbladder, which is, one of the main parts we can toxify with, then our gallbladder just keeps building up more and more and more. We don't realize it every day. So we age fast. So currently, I've got, I just did a telomeres test that was showing me that at the age of 41, my biology and my, my DNA is actually 31. I forgot that. It's a great start. And this is only going to get better because it's exponential just like a vibration is exponential. So, how do you find that? It's empowering having this knowledge and wisdom. There we go. Uh, also, fear, right? Fear is held in the kidneys, so it is it's definitely our, the condition of our kidneys and everything that is below that is completely, and the environment is completely defining our entire lives. And we don't realize how much is there. It's remarkable. I'm currently on uh, 212 meters of mucus pump released from those particular areas. 
our especially reproductive system and large intestine because our nervous system is disconnected from those via the different imbalances in the spine especially uh, for bits of people it's uh, what is it, L4 and 5 on the right side and that creates an imbalance in the hips and then when we come to face these things by trying to remove them or going through some sort of process yeah there's a lot of subconscious fear there and the way you can tell is if people have dark eyes or if they have balding hair they are entirely fear based and they've got a lot of demons with them and if you don't have the correct nutrition for balancing your body and maximum amount of nutrition and minerals which people don't they tend to make decisions on their nutrition and uh, they don't have a strategy because they don't have a connection between mind and body it's a problem and then they just keep making decisions to, based on their imbalances because our, our body is always trying to detoxify our nervous and immune system the most biggest problem in the body and that's where we think from because that's where our subconscious focus is but we're usually completely unaware of these things it's a bit of a it's a lack of consciousness and a lack of awareness and you know when we've got obese and overweight gurus and naturopaths and people in natural health that don't look good then they're naturally going to lead us astray it's inevitable they can't see it because it's subconscious in their body and once we start to remove these imbalances you know yoga pyro and, and detoxification and maximum ideally organic nutrition by removing the chemicals the fear in the kidneys and everything below that starts to dissipate more and more every day and when you're empowered to realize your imbalances and you're working on them ideally with discipline every day that fear of dying disappears pretty cool huh how empowering is that so we do actually have 100% complete control of and co-creating our experience on this planet but it's from our imbalances and we need someone, we need a guide essentially otherwise we can just make a lot of mistakes because they have a lot of resistance and dependence in the nervous system and make decisions from that place so ideally you need an expert oh look, lucky as me there's not a lot of people around that actually embody and look good and know what they're doing and can actually share that. Uh, in Sydney, there's three. Not many. Not many at all. And they've done all done similar things. They've done a lot of natural health study and detoxified themselves, ideally on a regular basis, because we just build this stuff up naturally. And in the West, we've built it up over a long period of time. And that's essentially what we call stored karma. a lot of resistance. So, if you understand how resistance works in the circuitry of the body, then the nadis or meridian lines are impeded from getting the messages back to the brain. So then we don't get higher brain function because we get, we find emotional imbalances and resistance. And that's symbolized by the crown of thorns in the Jesus story. That's the limbic system. All the stuff we stored, emotionally yucky stuff from the past, comes up and then we just go and push it away. That's the experience we build. So, if you ask anybody who's detoxified and purified for quite a while, and these things have been around since the dawn of time. You know, fasting is amazing, amazing coffee enemas, uh, herbalism is fantastic, and clearing the gut, or the ego, or the environmental gut organism, then we start to be free from these things. Freedom comes, the empowerment comes, and the consciousness comes. So then we just make some other decisions because we have more of our nervous system to break. And until the person gets to the third eye, which is a sixth-dimensional awareness, that's when they start to realize all their perceptions and their imbalances. And they understand them. But until the person gets there, they'll never get to the cause of them. They'll just be stuck. How do you find that? Choosing to become immortal by daily choices. Pretty handy. 